Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we shall continue our discussion on the use of ChemFig package to typeset chemical formulae, structures and schemes in LaTeX documents. Let us take up the Technic Center editor. Now, we use the package ChemFig as before. If you use the code ChemFig, curly brace open close within which we give a star 5. That means we are going to have a 5 sided ring. The ring has got the bonds single bond, double bond, single bond, single bond and then double bond and the atoms are also mentioned as B, C, D and E. Then you get a ring like this, 5 sided ring. If we do not specify the atoms, we can get the ring alone like this. In the second case there is no mention of the atoms and we get this output. Suppose you specify as in case 3 chemfig star 5 that means we are going to have a 5 sided ring but within parenthesis we specify only 3 bonds single bond, double bond, single bond and 3 atoms B, C, D. Then we get incomplete ring like this B C D. An opposite version of this is given in line 4. Let us say we start with atom A followed by a 5 sided ring. But within the parenthesis we specify more than 5 bonds, more than 5 atoms. Then what happens is up to E is accepted. Single bond, second bond is double bond, third bond, fourth bond and then all others are ignored. If you specify more number of bonds or atoms, they are conveniently ignored based on this number 5. Instead of using single star, suppose you use double star and a six sided ring is specified. Then six bonds are also specified here. Therefore you get a six sided ring within which we have a complete circle because of this double star and the inner circle need not be full, it need not be complete. You can specify the start angle for the circle and the end angle for the circle as 30 and 330. You have the inner circle starting at 30 degrees going up to 330 degrees. Now, let us uh, consider the next case. You can also specify for the inner circle the ticks code like this. You can have dashed pattern and this starts at 0 degrees goes up to 270 degrees and dash pattern is specified like this. We are considering four sided ring. Now if we continue our discussion on this we can have additional features as shown in line 8. You have A star 6. That means you have atom A and then a 6 sided ring. If you add the option colon 30, then the whole figure is rotated by 30 degrees anticlockwise direction. And you can also attach a ring to a bond A single bond B and then we have a 5 sided ring like this or you can as well have a double bond and then this ring is rotated by minus 30 degrees and then you have a 6 sided ring then you get this structure possible as shown in line 7 sorry line 11 now consider the line 12 you have a 6 sided ring you have it 6 sided ring x star and then here we specify the bonds we have it then at this position we have an attachment like this specified by single bond A, single bond B and then double bond C. You have this attachment. Let us consider the next case where we have groups of atoms occupying the corners of the bond, the ring AB, 
CDE, F, GH, I, etc. We get the ring all right, but it is not neat. What we can do is, we can specify the start angle, sorry, start atom and end atom for the bond. Consider this bond. After CDE, we can use single bond. The options are, the start atom position is 1. In CDE, the bond starts at C, not in the earlier case, as in the earlier case E, it starts at C. And then for the next single bond, the end atom position is first, namely at the G it ends. Notice that in the first case we have got only two commas, in the second case we have got three commas. Two commas means the start atom position, three commas refers to the end atom position. Now, if we continue this, let us consider a single bond B to which is attached a five-sided ring. And again, we have another ring attached to the first ring. If you give the code as given here, then there is a problem, namely, the bond starting from Z protrudes into the atom E. This can be avoided by two different methods. First method is, you put a hook at Z and another same, same hook at E. Then the hook at Z and the hook at E will uh, see to that the bond is of correct length. Next method is, after Z, instead of putting the hook, you can use single bond phantom E. This also produces the correct result. In many cases, we would like to write the name of the molecule just below the structural formula. In that case, we use the command slash chem name followed by two pairs of curly braces. Within the first pair, we give the chemfig structure. And then in the second pair of curly braces, we give the name of that structure. Here we have the first chemical structure and underneath we have the name of that compound. If we have a scheme like this as shown here, then we will say slash scheme start and then we will use slash scheme stop at the end. Then you get this formula, this scheme. For the first one, as before, we use chem name, chemical structure and the name. Again, chem name, chemical structure of carbolic acid and the name of that compound. Again, we have chem name, this structure followed by the name ester. And the last case, chem name, this structure followed by the name of that structure. We get this. Now, only if you use scheme start and scheme stop, we can use slash plus. This will ensure that the plus sign is exactly at the center of these two structures, like this, very well positioned. Another case is, for this arrow, we can adopt two different strategies. In the first case, we may use dollar, long right arrow dollar. But even then, the length may not be so much. To get proper size of the arrow, we can use this command slash arrow and it starts from mid east of carbolic acid. For carbolic acid, mid east is here and it goes to up to mid west of the ester up to this point. Therefore, you have a, an arrow of proper size. If you look at this scheme carefully, you will notice that alcohol, the name alcohol is not aligned properly with respect to carbolic acid, ester and water. It is raised above. Therefore, what you can do is, you refer to the structure which occupies maximum vertical position. In this scheme, carbolic acid occupies maximum vertical position. You copy this code for carbolic acid, chemfig, etc. 
then use chem name in it then within curly braces you give that code for carbolic acid use this before scheme start after scheme stop use chem name in it empty pair of curly braces if you do that you will find this alcohol carbolic acid ester and water will be aligned horizontally i have used here a double slash after carbolic that is why acid comes to the next position if you remove that double slash acid will be aligned perfectly horizontally now we have referred to the arrow here what are the types of arrows possible here if you simply say arrow then you get a long right arrow like this if you use arrow within curly braces zero you have an invisible arrow if you use arrow hyphen greater than you get this long right arrow notice that what is given in line 3 and line 1 produce the same output other types of arrows are also possible as shown here some of these arrows are also available in chem formula package in particular refer to line 10 arrow hyphen capital u greater than b then this produces a special type of arrow which is not immediately visible in the output on the right hand side if you use it like this after this arrow let us say you put within square brackets 1 2 3 and again followed by 4 5 6 and then close the curly brace in the earlier line we have not used the options that is why we did not get anything on the right hand side if you use the options after greater than two square brackets what is given in the first square bracket will be available at the start of the curved arrow what is given at the in the second square brackets will be available at the end of this curved arrow again if you are interested you may use chem up and chem down together to draw expandable delimiters above and below any structure here we have used chem up slash calibrate open and then here we have used chem down slash calibrate close now kindly refer to the beautiful example with the detailed code available in this website with this we complete our discussion on chemistry in latex we will continue with another video afterwards thank you very much for watching